Hey everybody, it's Rick Trummer from Rick Trummer Consulting and Training, and welcome to another grab bag video. Today, I am going to take a look at mixed light situations. Everybody gets these from time to time. You're in a location, you're photographing, let's say, under tungsten lights, or you're in a gymnasium, and you have a certain color temperature that you're shooting under, and you're using fill flash. And how does that all work? I mean, how do you get the right color temperature, everything? Well, in the old days, we did something called socking, which we measured the color temperature of the light source we were working in, and then we would put color filters in front of our flash units to adjust to make sure they were all throwing out the same color of light so that when you made the adjustment, you only had to make one adjustment based on the film you were using. With digital, it's a little bit more complicated because we're in a lot of different lighting situations and we don't sock anymore. We don't sock our flash units and put uh, those different color gels on our lights any longer because we've gotten, for the better sense of a word, we've gotten kind of lazy with it. So I got this back from one of my customers, great customer, by the way, really, really uh, wonderful man. And he said, Rick, I'm having a little bit of problem. I don't know how to handle this situation. They're in the gymnasium. And they're using, of course, they're under sodium vapor lights. Do you set your camera at the sodium vapor lights or do you set your camera at flash? What, how do you handle it? Well, the photographer did neither here. They set kind of in between sodium vapor and the flash. And they came up with, of course, a shot that's not white balanced at all or is not quite white balanced to the point that they wanted to do it. So... He says the uniforms here are the way that he likes them. They're a little bit blue in my book, but let's go ahead and make color adjustments for both. Let's get perfect color temperature on both the faces, the fill flash, and for the sodium vapor lamps that are sitting inside the gymnasium. Should be relatively easy, right? Well, it kind of is. If you're using my uh, click balance, you have your computer already balanced, uh, perfectly for the lab and how do we do it from there so main image here now if you're doing this for yourself you should balance to to the sodium vapor lamp whatever is the majority of your exposure exposed for that in this case the sodium vapor lamp is uh, is taking up the majority of the exposure that's what's taking up the biggest part of it that's what's creating the overall lighting that's on here and then the fill flashes in front which is kind of nice and it's going to be warm because it's a slightly warmer color than sodium vapor. So what's going to happen is you'll get a little bit of warm tone in there. But if you want to correct for both, let, here's how you do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we're going to do a new adjustment layer. So just click on your new adjustment layer. We're going to go into curves, which will take care of this situation quite well. Now, from previous um, videos, you know that I like to set these eyedroppers a little bit differently. So hopefully, we're going to double click on our white eyedropper, and you'll notice in here that we have 245, 245, 245. Now, the default setting for that is, of course, 255 all the way down. So we know from other videos that if you set it at 255, that's an unprintable white. We can't print that at the lab. It's impossible to print for that. So we want white with detail. So we're going to set these up to 245, 245, 245, and we're going to click OK. Now, if you haven't done this before, when you make that adjustment, it's going to come up and ask you if you want to set those as your new white points. Your answer is yes, you want to set those for your new white point. But what we're going to do here is click on that white eyedropper, and then I'm going to click on a white part of the uniform, and then what's going to happen is it's going to make an adjustment based on that. So let's click on that white. And you notice the uniform's got a little bit less blue. The skin is still a little bit kind of a cyan, bluish, bluish shade, more of a kind of, it's just a weird shade. So we're going to adjust for that in a second, okay? So we've adjusted for the sodium vapor lamps. We've got those done. If you could just click on and off, you can see that we've adjusted for the sodium vapor lamps that are inside here, and it looks actually pretty nice on our screen. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to name that layer. So let's go ahead and name this layer. We're going to put this as Gym Color. And we're going to zoom back out. So we got that. We got the Gym Color set in here. Now, 
we're going to go ahead and click back on the background. Now we're going to make an adjustment for the actual faces themselves. Actually, let's click on that layer. I made a slight, slight little difference there with the title there. Sorry, I spelled that wrong. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new curves layer that's going to go over the top. Okay. So we're going to, again, do a new, new curves adjustment layer. And what we're going to do now is we're going to just concentrate on the faces itself. So sometimes this becomes very, very difficult because you're trying to look at both colors. If you zoom into a face, you'll probably get a little bit more perfect as far as the color is concerned. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll zoom into a certain couple of faces here so I kind of get all that other things out. What I'm going to do is go and take this under blue first and let's go ahead and pull out some of that. We're going to pull out blue and we're going to add a little bit of yellow. We're going to get some warm tones in there and I'm going to come from the highlight side. All right, number one. We're going to do that. Number two is I'm going to come under now the red because there is a little bit of cyan in there. What I want to do is add a little bit. I want to add a little bit of, pull out a little bit of the cyan. Now let's go into red, uh, green, blue because the faces are a little bit light. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and we're going to pull that out. Now I see a little bit of green kind of showing up. That's kind of normal when we made these adjustments. I'm just going to pull out, maybe just pull out just a little bit, bring those faces in. Now, last stage, go back into blue. Now I realize you're all going, wow, you're moving around a lot, Rick. Yes, I am moving around a little bit as far as the color is concerned, but that's okay at this point. Okay, and you can still make major adjustments once you're done. Now, I'm going to be zooming out now so I can see the overall picture here. Looks pretty good. Now, what I'm going to do is right now I have the layer mask actually showing, you know, I have it turned on. So I have the layer actually showing through. What I want to do is shut the mask off. So I'm going to inverse the mask. So do a command or control I, depending if you're Mac or PC, and that'll shut off that layer. So now it's been turned off completely. At this point, I'm going to click on the actual mask here over in the layer. And I'm going to go to my brush tool. And I'm going to go to, let's see here. Let's go to brush tool. And I'm going to keep my opacity 100%. And I'm going to want to make sure that my brush is nice and soft. So I want zero hardness, which I have. I've got 100% opacity. And now you want to make sure that white is in the foreground down set below here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just come in to our faces. And I'm using a big soft brush here. So I'm not trying to get exact here. Um, you, this is not kind of an exact science when you're dealing with, with this type of thing. You want to kind of just come over here and just a nice soft edge going down. I'm going to try to get into the hair here. And then we can get more specific later. Now, down here, I've got the legs. So I've got to make sure that the legs are showing through on my colored layer because they're also blue. And again, I'm using a nice big soft brush kind of coming through. Now, I can fine tune this a little bit later on as we kind of go in. But from experience, I know that I can kind of come in here with a nice soft brush and it's not an exact science, and it doesn't have to be because the color difference between sodium vapor and daylight is about 1,400 degrees, but I'm warming it up kind of in between there, as you can see from the hair. And I've also, like I said earlier, I made a slight adjustment as far as my exposure as, as well. So I've come in and darkened up the skin a little bit as well. So we're almost finished here. As you can see, I'm on my final, final last few people here, but I'm just coming through, making final adjustments. And again, you can come through and change the light in the faces once you're done with all of this. You can make color adjustments if you don't like the adjustment that's been made. I normally like to do this with 
Um, if you're not a person that uses a Wacom tablet, I would highly suggest you get one. Um, you can get Wacom tablets now, three, four hundred dollars at most. And the nice thing about those is they're pressure sensitive. So when you're dealing with pressure sensitivity, especially when you're dealing with this type of work, you won't have, you will find that you won't have to set your opacity up and down constantly when you're doing this because of the, because of the, um, pressure sensitivity the harder you press the more that you're going to be able to get that on so if you're backing off just a little bit near the edges you're going to be okay so here we did we did a quick little thing for the faces i'm going to name this instead of curves one we're going to come in and we're going to put skin color and there we go we've now made adjustments for both so this was our original this is where we started, and as you can see, we've had, we've adjusted for both the gym and we've gone in to do a skin color to be able to go in. So now both the uniforms and the skin are in pretty good shape. Again, if you wanted to go through, all you need to do is double click on that layer and you can make adjustments to just the faces then. If you find that you wanted to go in a little bit more or adjust the color, maybe you just want to do an individual, then we're going to add another layer on top of here and go in and make a color for an individual. But as you can see, I've adjusted for all of the above by just putting on a couple layers and doing a quick segment on that. So that's our grab bag series for the day. Thanks again. And uh, keep sending out those uh, requests for videos. We love getting requests. And again, I'm Rick Trummer from Rick Trummer Consulting and Training. And I'll see you on the tube.